KCB Kenya has taken over the running of struggling Mumias Sugar Company. The lender has appointed PV Romana Rao as the miller's receiver manager, a decision that did not go well with its management and local politicians. Dennis Otieno has more details. Even the leadership, the leadership, we are even wondering who are these people that are taking you around. You see, we have only are they, are they? It is the battle to save the soul of what they call their own beleaguered sugar miller from the hands of creditors. It's my responsibility to take care of any assets that mm. are within Kakamega County that interest the people of Kakamega. Yeah, it is okay. It is, yes. uh, all assets are here only. But yeah, what so, happened to so, the assets? So, so my, my, my suggestion is, yes. Yes. my suggestion is, let this guy go out. Yeah. Fast. No, we can't go out. You Sorry. will go no, out. No, no, you, you, have no, go no, out. you have to go, you out. go out. Yeah, because you don't let, need, let, let him go out. Even the receiver managers huggling out with the management and politicians from the region. We can, we can agree on a way forward. We can't have a stage. We just can't hear photos all around. We don't know you. We don't know you. No, 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 no. In a statement, KCB Group confirmed it had taken over operations of the miller, ostensibly to protect its assets and operations. But the management of the miller and local political leaders would hear none of this. This is our livelihood. This is what we depend on, and we would rather die here than accept anybody else to come and take over Mumias. Wakatujulisha ya kwamba, ye ya mekuja kuteko over, kama receiver manager, na kapeana makaratasi, yale ambaye ya natakana kutawa kutini. The move by KCB to appoint Ponangipali Venkata Ramana Rao as the company's administrator originated from a lender's agreement dated 27 September 2010. The miller has for years now been struggling under growing debt and posting a series of poor performance. The firm, which is now technically insolvent, is said to have an estimated 6 billion shilling debt. Three weeks ago, the Kenya Revenue Authority froze Mumia's accounts of a tax bill amounting to 10 billion shillings. It took political intervention to have the miller access its accounts and pay August salaries. The move by KCB comes on the backdrop of a report launched by the county government of Kakamega in a bid to revitalize the miller. The report focused on improving sugarcane farmers' welfare and produce to sustain raw materials for the listed miller. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.